Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this 2019 season here on TableRockSports.net. It is time for Phoenix Pirates football. We are excited to get this season kicked off against the Cascade Christian Challengers. Coming in off an appearance and a loss in last year's championship game. The Challengers have a lot to prove this year. We're going to go ahead and hear from one of our great sponsors right now, and we will be back with the kickoff right after this. I was talking to Bill. Yeah? Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? How did they get a guy? Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home or auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 40 years. Bill's Glass in Ashland and Medford, and now Bill's Glass in Grants Pass. And there was our national anthem. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. My name's Chris Phillips. Nate Goodyear. Nate Goodyear. Yeah. <laughs> so glad to have you with us. We're going to go ahead and take one more quick commercial break. Here from some more of our great sponsors. We could not do what we do here on Table Rock Sports without our great sponsors. And we are going to kick off this fantastic game right after this. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Siskiyou Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. For several weeks, the Southern Oregon Sports Commission has shown you examples of good sportsmanship and bad sportsmanship. Here's why. 75% of youth athletes quit sports by the age of 13 because they're not having fun. 75% of rookie referees also quit each year. Why? Well, it's because of the way they're treated by coaches and parents. We can do better. We must do better. Know your role. Learn more at southernoregonsports.com. I'm Pat Cox with Sherm's Food Stores. The employees of Sherm's are proud to be part of your community. 
We have thousands of customers in our stores every day, and our checkers know a lot of them on a first name basis. They tend to enjoy what they do, and they love it, so it reflects in how they treat the customer. If you live anywhere in Southern Oregon, there's a Sherm store near you. We hope to see you soon. If you shop with us, you will save money. Welcome back. There you see the captains meeting at midfield. Nate, you got our captains for us there? Yeah, for our boys in Phoenix, it's Nick Goff, a senior, Zach Dungy, your uh, senior starting quarterback as well, Mike Walker, number 28, and Dom McGee on the line, also a senior. Uh, for Cascade Christian, Chris, it's going to be Elijah Smith, uh, number, wearing number nine, uh, quarterback Keegan Sean, followed by wide receiver Cade Sample, and uh, linebacker and lineman Michael Croy rounding it out. Got some of the very best. Obviously, Keegan Sean, a leader down there, ready for his senior season, wanting to kick it off strong. Let's wait for the call. Looks like the Pirates will receive in the first half. We can take one more quick break, and we should be right back with the kickoff right after this. I was talking to Bill. Yeah. Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? And they get a guy. Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically updates and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home or auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 40 years. Bill's Glass in Ashland and Medford, and now Bill's Glass in Grants Pass. And welcome back. There you see the Pirates ready to receive this opening kickoff of the 2019 football season here on TableRockSports.net. I want to go ahead and thank our great sponsors at Arby's. Remember, before or after the game, you can stop in at Arby's at 41 East Stewart Avenue in Medford where they have the meets and they mean it. night for football Chris Phoenix looking to get the ball first go down score start their season off strong as we said the challengers coming off a state championship loss last year so they want to open this season strong <laughs> so a cadre of black shirts to tackle the Phoenix returner that's Cam Corey so the Pirates will start out first and ten they're going to put that at the 21-yard line. And 
we are underway. Challengers are going to play with a three-man line. Looks like we'll see how those rear linebackers split out. They're going to split pretty wide there. So three wide and an offset eye formation for the Pirates. Where Snappy's going to drop back, rolls slightly to the right, floats it up over the defender, breaks a tackle down the sideline, finally brought down. About a 23-yard gain on the first play of the season. Nice, easy pass. Get Dungey into rhythm right there, right out into the flat to your running back, and then he makes makes some moves down the field to pick up first down. Couldn't ask for a better start. Yeah, um, absolutely. Easy pass. Like you said, he had to float it over a defender, but it was a high percentage pass. Short of maybe a touchdown, of course, <laughs> right? But, hey, move the chain. There's always, yeah, right, there's always better. But a first down on the first play. They'll come out offset to the left side this time. He's going to turn around and hand it off. Nice little cutback through the middle. He's going to find – they're going to give him six yards on that run. They're going to run the play in from the sideline. That is the senior, Zach Dungey. Calling the signals. Mason, Seeley, Nick Goff split out here to the bottom of your formation. They're going to toss it that way. And there's Keegan Sean from his outside linebacker position there to shut it down fairly quickly. Yeah, they're going to mark him down right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe just trying to do a little too much there. You had some success with a you know, a little flat pass to start, and then you go right up the middle and try to catch this Cascade Christian defense being aggressive to start the game, then running outside a little bit. Tough to get that edge against a, a pretty stout D here for the Crusaders. It's also just a great player making a great play. Guys are yeah. going to do that. Keegan Sean, really the leader here for the Challengers. Looks like we've got a <laughs> Equipment issue. uniform issue here. <laughs> Take this opportunity to go ahead and say thank you to our great sponsors at Bill's Glass. They are proud to be a sponsor of high school athletics. They've been the industry leader and clear choice in Southern Oregon for almost 50 years. Faking the blitz. He will not come. They pound it up the middle. That's going to be close, but I think it'll be good for a first. Yeah, you can move the sticks, Chris. I like the play calling right out of the gate with Phoenix. <laughs> they expected Cascade Christian to come out of the gate defensively with an aggressive mindset, and they've taken advantage of it on three of the four first plays here. A draw right there on third down, smart play, move the sticks. Yeah, you let the blitz come at you, and then you run right past it. So Pirates, a nice first drive here, controlling things to open the game. Under 10 minutes to go in the first. Dungy will look left, will throw left, and throw over his receiver's head out of bounds. Right there, you see they just flip the play that they ran to open up the game. This time the challengers sniffed it out, but really do like the approach so far here from Phoenix. Dungy runs the play in again. Second and 10. This will be a big play for the Pirates to see if they can capitalize on this first drive. But first, we are going to get a timeout Phoenix. We will go ahead and take that one with them. Tied at zero. Nine and a half minutes left in the first. We'll be back right after this. Hello, I'm Lennox Scott, Chairman and CEO of John O. Scott Real Estate. In 1931, my grandfather started John O. Scott Real Estate. I would like to take a moment to thank you for your trust in allowing us to serve your real estate needs. Helping you realize your home ownership dreams is why we do what we do. But one thing is clear, it takes place one client at a time. Each individual buyer or seller. 
because at the end of the day, it comes down to you. The past few years have been an incredible time of growth for us. We now have over 110 offices and more than 3,000 broker associates in the states of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California. And sorry about that, cutting that short, but we are back to the action. Pirates, second and 10, big play here. He's going to go the play fake, and the pressure is just so strong. Tries to throw back against it. That was a forward pass. Yeah, they're going to call that dead. I think that was a forward pass from the beginning, so it was a dead ball on the incompletion. And that was a good decision just to get rid of the ball, though, because that pressure was coming quick. Yeah, it, that could have turned bad really quickly with the way he came back across the field like that. But, again, sticking to that plan early, your defensive end on that side crashes down. Dungy's able to roll out. He had some space, but that secondary for Cascade Christian a little too strong on that play. Pressure just relentless so far from Cascade Christian. Third and ten now. Looking to put a stop to this opening drive from the Pirates. Dungy in the shotgun, four wide. It's going to bring him in motion, and a flag. Three flags. <laughs> we'll see if these are all for the same thing. I think they are, yeah. Illegal motion against Phoenix. We'll back him up five yards. It's nice to know all the officials caught that. <laughs> they're, they're, well, they really needed three flags for that five yards. This is trouble right here, though. Immediately, Phoenix gets into Cascade Christian territory and shoot themselves in the foot with a, with a penalty that's now going to put him in a third and long. Yeah, a couple of nothing plays and then a penalty. It's amazing how quickly it stacks up. Especially against good teams. It's amazing how good, quickly good teams can turn the tide like that. I mean, one great individual play from Sean to really shut down that toss, and now... We're looking at a whole different set of circumstances. Split backs behind Dungy in the shotgun. We're going to move the receiver out, and a quick kick is not very strong. Cascade Christian is just going to let it fall. So Phoenix tried to get a little tricky with the quick kick on third and 15. And, I mean, they got about 20 yards out of it, but still it'll be great field position and momentum for Cascade Christian. Uh, they must not have a whole lot of confidence right now. You know, when you're thinking of just trying to flip the field position this early, right. I get where they're coming from. You don't want to risk a turnover. Um, but I don't think it worked out A quite. bad snap, right, something like that deep in their own territory. So Keegan Sean will lead this challenger's attack. He's going to sling it out right. He's got blockers and a seam and the sideline. <laughs> Touchdown, Cascade Christian, just that fast. That's a wide receiver's dream right there, Chris. Cade Sample is able to come out of that slot position, just grab that quick pass. And when you're in that spot, you look upfield and you know you got nothing but green in front of you. Unfortunately for Phoenix, it doesn't get much easier than that. They stacked the receivers there close to the line. They had Sample right behind the blocker ahead of him. And you could see as soon as he caught that pass, wide open lane. You're right, nothing but green. So the challengers will line up for the extra point. And on the very first play of this 2019 season, the challengers Setting the tone, they lead it 7 nothing. Pirates will have the ball again when we come back. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Cisco Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. 
Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. For several weeks. Welcome back. There you see your score, seven nothing. Cascade Christian. They went what was it, sixty two yards? Right out of the gate. On the very first play of the game, or of their very first play of the game. Now a nice little return. He's going to try and kick it outside. Got out to the thirty. Nick Goff going to set the Pirates up with some decent field position here. But, yeah, I mean, if you're Phoenix, you put together a nice little drive, you establish some pace to open this game, and then Cascade Christian comes one play, 62 yards, touchdown. Yep. Really and you're already down. Un untouched. Yeah. Um, and, you know, not much you can do about that other than just hope to come out on this drive and put up some points this time. Yeah. Dungy with two wides to the open side of the field. He's going to hand it off. That draw is getting five, six yards a pop. They're doing a nice job getting Cascade Christian upfield and then finding a hole. Yeah, and so, some of that, I think, is built into the narrative of this game a little bit, Chris. You've got Phoenix who haven't won. Uh, you know, they were winless for the entirety of last year, whereas right. Cascade Christian is state runner-up last year, coming off a state title the year before that. You know, they feel like they're going to come out in their home opener and really light some people up. And to Phoenix's credit, their game plan has been to take advantage of that. Right. And absolutely expectations for more of the same this year. Again, you got a senior year for Keegan Sean. You've obviously got explosion and sample. You've got playmakers all over in black and purple and gold. Yeah, they want to win this time. Yeah. Single back, three wide. Tight end to the left side. Dungey's going to roll right. Finds his man. Nice job planting his feet, turning up field. Pass to Phil that's, a, that's a big boy right there, Joe Boehner, the <laughs> sophomore tight end. I normally see a 55 oh on that. that, that Not fella, 80. That fella <laughs> Jerry Rice's like, number he, on that body just he, doesn't he, quite. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He makes that play and turns that corner, and that's a, that's a lot of fella coming downhill yeah. at you. Got the first down out Don't of it. Don't want to tackle it. Yeah, absolutely. Made a great play there. Soft hands, turned up field. Nice job. First and 10, makes a miss in the backfield. Only picked up about a yard, but really great job just not to lose yardage there. It's tough. Phoenix right now also obviously trying to control the clock. Uh, you know, the, the less time that they can let well, you see how explosive, yeah, <laughs> right. Way, wear out the defense and especially, you know, you got Keegan, Sean playing both ways, couple dudes playing both ways yeah. out there. Wear him out on defense. So it'll be golf split to the bottom. Mateo Lopez is the tailback. Dungy will fake it to him over the middle, threw it behind a slightly open receiver. Would have had to really be a great throw to get it in there. Might have not been very comfortable for him should he have uh, caught that ball in stride either. Steady diet of play action early on, though, from Phoenix. They, they really, you know, they, they want to get Dungy out of the move, out on the pocket. I mean, you can see that. He, he's pretty composed back there, and he has good footwork. It's just a matter of getting him enough time to throw the ball. Well, I think you're exactly right. A big part of that's taking a, trying to take advantage of that over-aggressiveness from Cascade Christian. Third and nine. They're going to swing it out, try and get him in some space. They do exactly that. Lopez, they're going to give him the first down. So Phoenix able to capitalize. On third and nine, Mateo Lopez caught the swing pass, turned it upfield nicely. Had a whole cavalcade of blockers in front of him as well. That was very nicely executed by the Pirates. 
Seven minutes, ten seconds left here in your first quarter. Challengers lead it seven nothing. This is the second possession of the game for the Pirates. Three wide here to the bottom of your formation. Again, Lopez will get the carry. Nice job breaking the tackle. And he picks up five. They made six or seven. Yeah, they're going to give him six. Lopez doing a really nice job so far avoiding contact at the line. Yeah, getting through, squirting through a little spot there. And I think this draw is really effective that Phoenix has been running against this three-man defensive front right here. Um, you know, it's it's making Cascade Christian make some decisions with their linebackers and really forcing them to cover their gaps and stay disciplined. So back to the offset eye formation. Dungy going to hand it right up the middle. Big hole for Lopez. And I think that he's going to have the first down once again. Looking good so far. See how many carries they can get Lopez. You know, they're trailing on the scoreboard, but Phoenix has had the ball for, you know, almost half of, we're about halfway through the first quarter, and they've held it for the, the majority. Absolutely, of, what, yeah. 13 seconds that it took, uh, right. you know, that it sample to get down to the sideline. field, but we'll say, it, we'll say it's 13 seconds. <laughs> it's probably a little less than that. That was pretty quick move. Yeah, it didn't make a couple people miss. <laughs> yeah, there was a, it wasn't a straight line. First and 10 from the 38. Pirates looking to answer the challengers. Yeah, they're going to get right. Cascade for jumping the line of scrimmage again. A little too aggressive. They want to make their presence known here this season. They got a lot of seniors on this team. This is good. They feel they feel like they're this is going to be a big year for them. There are a lot of expectations. And every once in a while, it's going to get you just a little too jumpy. <laughs> First and five, little draw right into the line and back to the line of scrimmage. Walker with the carry. You know, that lets you know right there, though, the – the strategy so far, they're going to have to capitalize on it at some point because this Cascade Christian defense, they're going to catch on. Yeah. And they certainly weren't fooled on that draw play. So while they still have them amped up for the first game of the season, while they still have them hyped, they've got to put some points on the board and take some wind out of, out of Cascade. All right, sales. it can't be all emotion. You actually yeah. got to get some results here. Land a few body blows and make yeah. it worth it. Lopez on Dungy's left hip. Looks to the right, rolls away for pressure, runs into his own lineman and he's gonna go down in a heap. Big loss, 10, about 12 yards on the loss there. That one hurts. Nobody open downfield either. I was about this close to commenting on how good the pass protection was. Cascade Christian's bringing a blitz, but by the time you look downfield and those wide receivers are getting out of their routes, they're just they're just blanketed on this right side, and Dungy had no choice. Tried to make something happen with his feet. And right. That's why Phoenix having a little more success so far, staying on the ground. You can tell Cascade Christian looking to stop that in short to intermediate passing game. Of course, last time here we saw the quick kick. I wouldn't anticipate right. seeing that two possessions in a row. Third and 15, Pirates in challenger territory. Dungy going to take the snap and go downfield. Has a receiver, but short of the marker, even after the completion, Justin Wilcox did a nice job to take the hit and hold on to that ball. He just couldn't get to the line. That's a Tough catch, but that, that, that's big yardage for Phoenix in this game right now. I, you know, they that puts them in position where they can go for this fourth down here and feel like they have a chance at it. Right, that actually makes this a doable fourth yeah. and uh, five. We'll give them five here. Fourth and five for Phoenix from the 33-yard line. 
See what the Pirates have dialed up. This is a big play. Try and keep a little bit of momentum. Dungey going to roll, throw back against it. And the challengers had that sniffed out the entire way. There's Elijah Smith, it looks like, getting in on the tackle. Sniffed that out from the get-go. And, and if he hadn't, there was, there was space there. And I feel like that... Not that he didn't make a great play, but that obviously right. was in his head from the coach. Hey, we got to watch the screen yep. here. They're going to look to take advantage. We got to watch this. They left a spy there. Yeah, he stopped that play on Tuesday. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what happened there for sure. Look, in these situations, this is what they're going to run. We need somebody to shut that down. So the Pirates will take over on defense here. And almost the exact same play the other way makes a couple people miss. And Christian Fralick. Going to pick up about 14 and a first down. So they just flip the play the other way and get another 14 out of it. Well, and until Phoenix proves they can compete out on the edge like that, you can just see the athleticism from these outside, all the wide receivers really for, for Cascade Christian. Right. Oh, <laughs> That one bounced right off Sample's hands, just a little too tall. Almost came up with the ricocheted McFeeders. And that's what they get for trying to throw it downfield. <laughs> <laughs> that's not get crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, you can just see just sort of on a player-by-player -player basis, you can see the skill that Cascade Christian is bringing to the field here. Sean will start the motion. Will hand to motion. <coughs> Will find the corner. Stiff arm doesn't quite find the corner, and Freilich will go out. Yeah, he picked up about four. Didn't let him get turned up field, and that's really a victory for. Yeah, absolutely. For Phoenix. Keep that stringing it out to the sideline. Use the sideline as an extra defender. Third and six for Sean and the Challengers. Freilich now in motion. McFeeders solo to the bottom of the screen. They're going to hand it up the middle. <clears throat> nice job. Phoenix going to stuff that one. Elijah Smith only picked up about a yard and a half, maybe two yards. Going to bring up fourth down. We'll see what the challengers dial up. Uh, they're going to go for it. Yeah. You know, Joe Boehner down on the left end, he made a catch on the last for a first down on the last uh, – on the last possession, and he's done a pretty good job of staying disciplined on the edge here in this drive on the last two plays as well. We like to see that out of a, out of a sophomore. We are going to get a timeout from the Challengers. They're going to talk this one over. We'll go ahead and take that timeout with them. Challengers lead it 7-0. Big decision here to look to add. We'll be back right after this. I was talking to Bill. Yeah? Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? How did they get a guy? Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home or auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 40 years. Bill's Glass in Ashland and Medford, and now Bill's Glass in Grants Pass. Welcome back. Just in time, fourth and five. They're still going to go for it. Let's see what the challengers drew up. Screen game. They're going to come right back at them with the screen. Elijah Smith all day. That is a 40-yard gain on fourth and five for Elijah Smith on the screen. And the challengers in fantastic position to add to their lead. That's pretty gutsy call from yeah. Cascade Christian there. You know, coming out of a timeout, you expect a defense to be, to be looking for that type of play on a fourth down, and they got caught napping. 
See if the challengers can push this one in. Take a two touchdown lead. They hand it to Smith again. Pirates shut that one down at the line. Nice job there from Phoenix to stuff the middle. Okay. And there are a couple of big boys up front on that defensive line for, for Phoenix. I mean, you know, I, I'm sure it's kind of their MO in general, but you can see why Cascade is, has really focused on trying to get the ball out towards the numbers rather than go up the middle. Play to your strength. Get the ball in the hands of your skill. Here's Sean. Beautiful job to fake the option. Take it right up the middle. And the challengers. Take a two touchdown lead. And again, just that fast. I mean, Phoenix had him to fourth and five, and it took a 40 yard screen pass to Elijah Smith to break that drive open. Yep, it just little plays like yeah. that. You see how both of Phoenix's offensive drives got killed. Yeah, you had a penalty and a sack on each of the first two, and you end up, before you know it, it's third and long, right. fourth and long, whatever it might be. Kick is up. Kick is good. 14 nothing. Cascade Christian. Pirates will have the ball when we come back right after this. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Siskiyou Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. Welcome back. 2019 football season kicks off tonight here on Table Rock Sports. Very proud to be bringing you Phoenix Pirate football this season. All season long here on Table Rock Sports. Unfortunately, they have run into a juggernaut. Nice job to find the hole. Can he beat the kicker? He can. Now it's just a sprint. Nick Goff is going to put the Pirates on the scoreboard for the first time this season. 95 yards on the return. That's a shot in the arm, right? That's what you want right there. Yeah, that was a good kick too, but very well blocked by that Phoenix special teams unit. And then it was all on the speed of, of Nick Goff right there, just a foot race to the yeah. end zone, and he dusted all of them. You saw him turn that corner as soon as he was past the kicker. It was all downhill. So <laughs> big, big play there for Phoenix. I'm laughing because Phoenix had eight minutes worth of possession here in the first quarter, nothing to show for it. And then you return a kick all the way, boom, you're right back in the ball game. That is big, the explosive play. From Nick Goff, 95 yards on the kickoff return. Kick is no good. So 14-6 is how this score will stay. We'll go ahead and stay here, get some of our live reads out of the way, some of our other great sponsors. Remember, fans, you can stop into any of the seven Siskiyou Cellular locations in Southern Oregon for a wide range of your wireless needs. They have been your Siskiyou Cellular provider for over 25 years, and they have been keeping con customers connected to the people and things that matter most. Remember, you can check out all the latest individual family and business plans with all the latest smartphones, tablets, hotspots, and accessories at Siskiyou Cellular. They are a presenting sponsor here at Table Rock Sports. Remember, 
to go to newofficials.org if you want to become an OSAA official. It is time for former high school athletes to get back in the game. We need officials at every level for every sport. So please go to www.newofficials.org to learn how you can get back in the game. Speaking of back in the game, a 95-yard kickoff return from Nick Goff has the Pirates right back in this one. Feels good to be a playmaker if you're Nick Goff. And then, hey, I like the strategy too, Chris. You come out, you, if you don't miss the extra point, then you have no reason to go for two the next time out. And fortune favors right. the bold, right? <laughs> it feels good to have a nice organic segue <laughs> like that. That was, that was beautiful. <laughs> uh, someone, someone must have get paid to write that. <laughs> Kick away for the Pirates. He's going to field it at the 15. Well, Smith back tries to get it back to the hash marks. Almost wriggled out of there, but they're going to bring him down at the 32. They maybe give him the 33. 52 seconds left here in the first quarter. Cascade Christian Challengers looking to start their big season off with a spark. They did exactly that, scoring on their first play of the game. They added another one. And then a 95-yard kickoff return from Nick Goff got the Pirates on the board, and we stand at 14 to six. Smith gonna test the middle, turn it outside. Nice job in pursuit. Still picked up three, and there's where you just see that athleticism to get that little bit upfield. Yeah, the quickness, the change of direction ability. Um, you know, there was nothing right up the middle. Yep, and before you know it, falls forward. You got three yards. It's really effective running. Sean looks right, swings it out. Again, nice job by Phoenix to just keep stringing that ball out, not giving him any lanes to turn upfield and get vertical. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. Challenger's going to let that clock run down. Two, one. There you see the officials waving their hands. That'll do it for the first quarter. 14-6 Cascade Christian up over your Phoenix Pirates. And we will be back with the second quarter right after this. I was talking to Bill. Yeah. Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? And they get a guy. Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically updates and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home or auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 40 years. Bill's Glass in Ashland and Medford. Welcome back. There you see the score as we start the second quarter. Oh, and a flag before we even tick a second off the clock. <clears throat> Lining up in the neutral zone against Phoenix. Sure, that's and that's going to kill your third and uh, third and five right there. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to move the chains or not. It looks it's like gonna it's going to be pretty close. close. Yeah, they're yep. just going to go ahead and do it. Okay. And again, after scoring that touchdown, the Pirates shoot themselves in the foot, put it right back. Put the ball right back in the challenger's hands. Sean keeps it. Great decision to keep it. Is that potential ball carrier was ripped down. Phoenix not giving up a whole lot up the middle, though. I mean, it, that's that's really where the strength of their defense seems to be is on that line. 
Uh, I'm sure it shows up on camera because they, they're pretty stout down there. And that was Marcelo Valadez being the difference maker on that play. Sean look, comes back left. He just looked. You could see him look upfield that he tried to run before he caught the ball. He wanted his touchdown. Yeah. That's, and, that's, and that's such a tough <laughs> one to live with as a receiver because you don't know when your number is going to get called again. That might be it. It actually became a little bit of a catch for catch, then run. <laughs> That's the order. Catch, pause, catch, go, then run. So, so tempting to get ahead of yourself in those situations. Sean going to roll out, heave it downfield. No flag. Mateo Lopez in fantastic coverage downfield. And that will bring up fourth and long. For Cascade Christian, my bet is they're just, I mean, they might as well not even have special teams. Right, right. Well, a, a great coverage by Lopez, mm -hmm. and what made it even better was the way he closed on that ball. Because yeah. when Sample came out of his break, it looked like he was going to burst into the corner and have a lot of room to go. And this is always where you get, so they are going to line Sean back up as if he's going to punt. We'll see. This is always the danger. Yep, here's the fake. Always the danger when you have a quarterback as your kicker, and they're going to pick up the first down on the fake punt. Keegan Sean rolls to his right, finds the receiver, and extends this drive for Cascade Christian. Tough to cover that play with your punt return unit. Phoenix scrambling there. They weren't sure what to think. We weren't sure what to think. And I mean, Crater has a little bit of the same thing. I called Crater last year. Trevor Davis, their starting quarterback, also handles all of their kicking duties. And here's a flag. Comets in action up in Wilsonville this evening. Rematch from twice last year those two teams actually played. They played in this game to open the season. They also met in the playoffs. Wilsonville ended up eliminating Crater. Five yard penalty. Makes it first and five at the Pirate 41-yard line. 10.45 left until halftime as the clock winds down on this beautiful Friday evening here in the southern Oregon Rogue Valley. Sean handles the low snap. But you could tell he wasn't comfortable from the beginning. And Valadez gets there with the pressure to bring him down. There you see the strength of this Pirates team, really, that interior seven. You can see, again, being the difference makers there, Valadez. Junior defensive end just collapsing the pocket and swallowed Keegan Sean right up. You know, that's something you almost expect Sean to kind of squirm out of, and Valadez was having none of it. Wrapped him up in a bear hug and laid on top of him. And Sean almost saved it. So that was a low snap, wobbled it from the beginning. Swings it out to the left, looking for room. They're going to push him out after a gain of about six. Ethan Kleinsasser. Ethan Kleinsasser gets seeing his first action of the night for the Challengers. On the play, 33 for Cascade Christian at the Pirates 39 yard line. So they get back a good chunk of yardage there, make it third and three. Takes a lot of work to be a wide receiver in this Cascade Christian offense. A lot of blocking out there on the edge. It's a tough job. You know the deal, yeah, that's part of the game. This time Sean hands it off, can't get upfield. That was Freilich. Mateo Lopez coming up from his spot as the safety, making a big play right there. That was huge. And we get the second, fourth down of this drive. It's four down territory everywhere. For yeah, everything's – yeah. you know, The Pirates had to know that going in, and they've got an opportunity here to get themselves a little momentum here in the second quarter. Almost stopped it once. Fourth and three. Challengers getting the call from the sideline. They are going to stay single back, tight right. 
Smith on Sean's left hip. He's going to bring the motion to the wide side. Looks that way. Nothing. Rolls. He's flushed. Throws. Can't convert it. Braden Scaglioni just couldn't catch the pass. I mean, that has some heat on it, though. Yeah, time to exhale if you're Phoenix because that – that ball, it, pro it probably, well, it could have been caught. It probably should have been caught. But like you said, that was a missile. Um, you see the arm that Sean has on him. Yeah, but the man was there. The throw was there. Um, credit Phoenix for making Keegan Sean extend that play and, and even have that opportunity there because the coverage was really good for the entirety of that play. So the Pirates will take over at their own 39-yard line, 846 left until the half. We are here at U.S. Cellular Field, part of the fantastic complex here, just off I-5. Stuffed at the line. Drops for no gain. Brings up second and ten for the Pirates. Like Michael Croy upending Lopez on that one, just holding strong on the edge. Correction, gain of one, second and nine for the Pirates. The Pirates got a stop on the last drive, a big, big stop on the second, fourth down of the drive. Looking to capitalize here. They've been able to control the clock. They've done a nice job controlling pace of play. But, of course, they scored on the kick return. Dungy, ah, couldn't quite hang on to it there on the sideline. Mateo Lopez. Brings up third down. <laughs> Good job looking back across field from Dungy. His first read was out to the right, nothing there. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you Saw know, the pressure coming. Yeah, Lopez is, is definitely going to be kicking himself because he's had a really strong game so far on yeah. both sides of the ball. And this is one where just Phoenix, they have to capitalize on opportunities like that. Cascade Christian can let maybe let a few of those go. They can drop a few of those with the talent level that they're at. Dungy going to roll. Beautiful coverage coming over his back is Keegan Sean. There you see the vision, the playmaking ability of the senior quarterback safety two-way player. That brings up fourth down for the Pirates. So unfortunately, the Pirates get the stop and then can do absolutely nothing with it. Christian Fairling deep. Looks like if Dungy had just a little bit more time, Goff might have been breaking towards the middle of the field, but that would have been a tough throw. We are going to get a timeout from the Pirates. They're going to talk this one over. We're going to take that break with them. 7.48 until the half. Challengers lead at 14-6. We'll be back right after this. I was talking to Bill. Yeah? Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? How did they get a guy? Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass. He's going to spread it out and kick it away. Much better kick this time when they actually line it up properly. Nice job by Freilich to avoid the first tackle. Turns the corner and he's gone. Christian Freilich. You want to count it out for me? That looked like about a 78-yard run. And again, we keep saying it, but just that quick. Phoenix makes a stop. They make a stop, and just that fast, Cascade Christian, so, so explosive. Christian Freilich to the house. It was that one move right out of the gate from Freilich. 
to set up his blockers. If you look back at the way that was set up, he takes he takes about three steps to the right, sticks his foot in the ground, comes back the other way, and they had a wall waiting for him along the near sideline, and it was all over from there. Yeah, and you just – they ooze playmaking. You can just see the explosion from disgusting. every <laughs> skill position player down there for the challengers. But really, uh, so, so fast down yeah. the sidelines. That's the point you're good. 21-6 the lead for the Cascade Christian Challengers. We'll go ahead and keep it here this time. Do a couple more live reads for our great sponsors. Let's pay the bills, brother. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can join up with Table Rock Sports and the NFHS Network for all statewide playoffs this 2019-2020 season. Table Rock Sports, very, very proud of our partnership with the NFHS Network. Just a single one-month 995 pass gets you all of the playoff action. You can watch every game. Every team is not like you have to specify. You don't just get your team. You get every game across the state for the whole month. That covers usually covers all of soccer and volleyball and football for these for uh for this season and the winter. You obviously get all the basketball tournaments. We're also going to be doing wrestling this year, I believe. And then come the spring, you obviously get baseball and softball. Seven and a half minutes left to go here until halftime. Let's get one more in. My Circle K, you can get your crunch on with the crispy crunchy chicken. That is available at My Circle K, and that is a game winner right there. You can follow them, find them, and kick back with them at MyCircleK.com. Challenger is going to kick it off after the touchdown from Freilich. Fields it at the five. And nice job just to split the blockers. And they bring him down at the 21-yard line. 21. Nothing doing on that return. Swallowed up Goff that time. He's He's been the he's been responsible for the only score of the game for Phoenix. And I think at this point, you know, there's still seven and a half left in this quarter, but Phoenix, they, they've got to get themselves within one score going into the half. If they're able to do that, then I, th I think you can uh, – better would be great, obviously. Right. But I think if you get there, then anything can happen in the final 24. Sure, yeah, of course. But And, and just you can see the strategy that Phoenix is trying to do, control grind the clock it. against an explosive team, try and grind it away. Look, our power game is our strength. We're going to keep it on the ground, stop their run. But you just – you have to execute play in, play out. And there's the challengers just using their – athleticism advantage to just break into the backfield and break the play down before it even starts. Yeah, and, and just as soon as you were talking about that power game being their bread and butter, you know, this is what happens when you're down two scores early in the second. You kind of have to abandon that. And they come out on a first down play out of a shotgun with three wide receivers, right. and they they just weren't able to protect Dungy long enough for him to even see downfield. Right. It's just a tough situation against a team with title aspirations in the Challengers. And they're going to get a free. They're going to get that five yards back here on an offsides call against Cascade Christian. Offside on the Challengers. Second and 11 is the final accounting. Challengers bring the pressure again. Dungy keeps it over the left side. Looks like maybe some kind of a broken play. It did not look designed there. Dungy just kind of dove over left guard. You know, I think that was actually their backup quarterback also, uh, mm. his sophomore Colton Samus. And now a designed run all the way, but it kind of looked like he wasn't real patient waiting for his blocks to get set up and Dungy staying on the sidelines. So maybe an injury. Maybe you saw Elijah Smith actually come over here to the uh, Cascade Christian training table a few minutes ago. Take a couple of minutes, but he's been back in the game since. So obviously everything fine there. See what the story is with Dungy. 
And yeah, you're right, again, he just tucks it under that right arm. No, no thought of any sort of passing game. I mean, he gets that snap, immediately goes into the running back position. Yep, just power right out of your quarterback. He took a shot on that play too. Mm -hmm. So you wonder, you know, if this is one of those things where it's a matter of Dungey's your better thrower and Samus is your is your playmaker. Maybe it's Samus. I mean, <laughs> but it's you know. just it's when you get that predictable, it's that predictable. Right. It's that predictable yeah. for everybody. Yeah, they you know they look at number five and they see hey he's going right. to run it one way or the other. Pick one. He did a reverse pivot on both right. plays and head straight for the backside tackle. And he's going to stay in here on fourth. They're going to split the wides out, and huh, they're going to get him for some sort of illegal formation here. He kicked it away, but both line officials threw their flags immediately on the snap. Illegal formation. Penalty on the Pirates. And again, just when you're at that kind of disadvantage, you have to execute perfectly, and it's it's – it's just not, and which is tough in the first week of the season. It's tough for anybody. Cascade Christian hasn't executed perfectly. But you just see Phoenix just when it feels like they're starting to get a little something rolling. Something happens to shoot them, shoot themselves in the foot. Yep, doesn't doesn't take much. But that's going to be the building block of their year. You know, they it's it's been a while. Their last win was in October of 2017 it was a playoff game right against next week's opponent right. Newport so uh, they're trying to build from square one here and it's going to take a little bit of time and Sean going to keep it right up the middle and there is that playmaking and explosion he's gone 48 yards for Keegan Sean touchdown challengers Third touchdown that Sean's accounted for tonight, too. He's got one through the air, 62-yard throw, a 48-yard run, and then a five-yard jaunt earlier in the game. So he he's proven his worth tonight. And, and several, several excellent plays on defense as well. Yes, sir. So you can see the playmaking ability of Keegan Sean, why they expect so much out of him this year. Kick is up. Kick is good. Twenty-eight six. The Cascade Christian Challengers lead the Phoenix Pirates. Pirates will have the ball with four thirty-five left until the half. Right after this. Let's go. At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Siskiyou Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. Welcome back. Just checked in across town at Spiegelberg. The North Medford Black Tornado up 21-6 over McNary. 28-6 is the score here at U.S. Cellular. It's Cascade Christian putting a hurting on the Pirates so far in the first half. Out to the 26-yard line. And that is where Phoenix will start their next drive. Cough heading to the sideline with a limp. Not a good sign for Phoenix. Uh, he's taken a beating tonight. And he has. It's really tough to be the kick returner when that blocking in front of you isn't isn't Great. picking up the picking up the pieces there because on that play in particular, you know, he's got 
11 guys running at him full speed, and I think about six of them got to him at yeah. once. It's a good way to get hurt. Not for the faint of heart is the game of football. Nice move in the backfield. <laughs> Nifty. Like he it. has just been oh, everything oh. has Lopez tonight for the Pirates. Mateo Lopez. Fancy feet in the backfield. Lopez wants to make the most out of his senior season. He's off to a good start tonight. And there are a couple of pieces here for Phoenix. You know, it's mm -hmm. not this this year is not going to be like last year, uh, but this is just a really tough test right out of the gate. Uh, the number 22 overall team in the entire state of Oregon out of 3A is a big opponent. Lopez breaks three tackles, and the fourth guy finally gets to him. And there you see the pursuit out of the challengers, just relentless. Okay, second and ten. Helpless feeling as a tailback when you're getting out on the edge, and you you know you think you got one guy to beat. You get your you get your stiff arm into him, and right. then there are three or four more guys there. And, you know you can you can only have. You can only get tackled by three guys so many times in a night before you wake up the it next adds morning. Up. Yeah. Hurting a bunch. Hurting. Second and ten for the Pirates. And the left tackle jumps. And Samus, again, has been, is in at quarterback. So I don't know if Dungey got hurt. And he has not been in on the last two drives. You wonder, too, if they're, you know, Samus being a sophomore, you wonder if this isn't one of those things where they brought him up to compete with Dungy for that spot, and they're giving him a shot. They're going to play him. And just, and he uh -oh. gives up uh -oh. the ball. Yeah, they're going to mark it down. So Lopez, finally the workhorse, it ad, like you said, it adds up. This punishment adds up. Lopez finally gets the ball stripped. And it will be Cascade Christian Ball in tremendous field position. And you certainly can't blame Lopez for that because this is such a disciplined defense. That's what they teach you in all the camps. 11 hats to the ball and don't stop. First guy there holds him up. Cavalry comes, tries to strip the ball. Perfectly executed defense. And we've seen it numerous times tonight out of exactly. Cavalry, Cascade Christian. Wasn't the first, not the second, not yep. the, the fourth guy gets there, finally rips that ball out. Sean claps him into, claps the offense to life, and then throws a one hopper. It's the Alex Smith special right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping in a five yard stop route. <laughs> ESPN did their the Ocho promotion a little <laughs> while ago, and they actually aired the national rock skipping championships. Oh, man. Yeah. Sean, quick pass to the he. That's the second pass now. He's missed low, and he knows it. You can see him talking to himself. Sean pass incomplete to Ethan Frank. And I know it's not looking real sharp on the scoreboard, but this is the point where you know I saw Fa Masa Losalo. Right back. This is this one. I'm having a little fun with the quarterback. Right, he short hopped a couple <laughs> passes in a row. I'm talking to him a little bit. Oh yeah. I'm letting him know. You got to get getting rid of it a little too heck? quick. Yeah. You uh, yeah. The alligator arms out yeah. there. Yeah. Three in a row. Sean has <laughs> one hopped to his receiver, so something's up, and you can see he's frustrated. I don't know if it's mechanical or if it's the ball slipping, but something's wrong. Just a just a little yippy, maybe. <laughs> I'm, ta I'm taking full credit for it if I'm anyone on the Phoenix <laughs> defensive line right now. <laughs> the second I get back there. I'm What's, what happened? Yeah, What's hey, wrong? Hey, come on, bud. I mean, I know that we're coming at you pretty hard here, but <laughs> you can get it out better than that. We've seen you, right? Or can you? Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fourth and ten. Sean rolls, has a man, throws behind him. I mean, they had three receivers stacked to the Stack sideline there at different side. levels. Mm -hmm. Sean decides to go to the middle and throws it a couple steps behind his guy. Yeah, just missed it. He's going to want to have that one back. Maybe 
more First than the three the that he threw one. short in that possession because that, you know, that would have made up for all three of them right there. Uh, and he had the ball up in the air and just, just mistimed it. That's a throw he can make in his sleeve. Sure. 251 left until the half. Things have ground to a halt a little bit here in the second quarter. We've had lots of changes of possession, lots of stoppages, lots of incompletions. That clock was rolling there in the first quarter. Samus keeps it, goes to the air, had to get it over the defensive end, and just couldn't find the range. Kind of lost his footing there too. Uh, you know, to me, that's just a that's just a matter of an underclassman trying to, you know, trying to get up to speed. It the game's going to slow down for him at some first point game this of the year. season. Yep. I mean, everybody's a little iffy at this point. Yep, and you know he's out here doing it yeah. against against. Tremendous juniors, competition, seniors, yeah. And, yeah. And a great team on the other side. So you can understand if he's moving a little bit fast. It'll be interesting to see what happens, you know, when he really gets into a flow of things, has his feet under him, and, and is able to make those plays because he looked confident. Right. Just a little hurried. And you put some pieces around a player like that, you got to build. Well, heck, I'd be hurried too with these yeah. guys chasing after yeah. me. The boys in black and purple can play a little bit in case you haven't heard nice job again the stiff arm in the backfield and just four black shirts string it out to the sideline he just there's nowhere to turn up that's a lot of running there to pick up a yard I like the effort from cam Corey. yeah oh the want to is not lacking in this phoenix pirate yeah. squad at all Now what's what's going on here? We've got a clock stoppage. Did he get out of bounds on that play? He must have, yeah. Okay. Dungey back in the game as well. So the Pirates switching it up again. Good catch there. Looks right. Goes over the middle, has him, throws behind him. Picked off by Freilich. See what he can do with it. Picks up a couple of blocks. Makes a man miss. Finally brought down by Dungey himself. They're going to get him on a horse collar. But that was just the only way he was bringing him down. He was just trying to make the play. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a dirty play right no. there. And it doesn't really end up hurting them as long as Freilich's not hurt because you know at that point in the field you're not giving up 15 yards right. you're giving up a yard and a half make Doesn't the make stop and give your defense a job to do so probably they didn't feel very good for Freilich though yeah well so they bring Dungey back in they go downfield and he throws significantly behind his receiver and it ends up in an interception yeah it was that one was trouble from the from the get-go, you could see his plan there, but just couldn't get to the target. Yeah. Challengers will take over, try and make this a four-touchdown game. Nice little crossing pattern. No, they're going to say it bounced. They're going to say no catch. Phoenix brought some rushers off the, out of the slot there. They had a little blitz coming on. And Sean did the right thing and threw right into it. But I think that's the right thing for Phoenix as well. With a guy that missed a couple throws on the last drive, just bring pressure. Yeah. You know, you're down, you're down 22 points. And just what else are you going to do at this point in the field? Yep. And they go right up the middle with Freilich. 34-6. Oh, that was Smith, number nine. Sorry. Even with the gold borders, the purple numbers on the black jerseys can not get a very, little, yeah. Not very broadcaster friendly. Still say the worst yeah. is Willamette. They used to wear white jerseys with silver numbers and no Come border. On. It was Come absolutely on. impossible. <laughs> I 
Kick is up. Kick is good. And we have a 35. Sorry, missed that last touchdown. There you go. There's your little beautiful little graphic. On the board. 35-6 with two minutes, 12 seconds left to go here in the first half. Pirates will have the ball when we come back here on TableRockSports.net right after this. I was talking to Bill. Yeah? Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? And they get a guy. Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically updates and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home or auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 40 years. Bill's Glass in Ashland and Medford, and now Bill's Glass in Grants Pass. Challengers lead it by four touchdowns. They kick this one away. Golf miffs. The catch has it out to the 24. That was actually, haven't seen Goff since he went off with a little bit of a limp. That was actually Eli Page. Still limping over there on the sidelines. Is he? Is Goff. He's got his helmet off now and having, looks like some trouble on that right side. It's what you do when you don't want a kid sneaking back in there. You just take his helmet. Just take his helmet. Yeah. <laughs> kid you know wants to play, wants to be out there. You got to, yeah. All right. How about a score before the break, boys? Do something good. This actually is interesting. Do you open it up here? Do you stick with what you've been doing because it's what you feel like? I say you let it rip. Man. Yeah. I mean, there's, no, there's 29 points at halftime. Maybe you just want to get to the half and keep your guys safe, which would make sense also. And Sam is back in at quarterback as well. You know, and I don't mean keep them safe in the sense that, yeah. like, hey, these kids are going to get hurt out there. But you do – it's it's a dangerous game. And there's really no reason to go above and beyond for the final two minutes of this right. half. Um, you know, that if I'm playing Madden, I'm trying to throw the ball downfield. <laughs> Remember that game actually used to resemble real football? Real <laughs> and now it's just, I mean. Madden 93, man. <laughs> Emmett Smith with a toss right oh just yeah. around the edge every time. There's the pressure. Samus going to eat it. I mean, at this point, it's just relentless. I mean, yep. they, they just they keep Perfect coming game. at Never you. And it's. Never had a chance. And it's a tough defense to plan for with a three-man front like that. You've got so many guys moving around. Um, and Phoenix only has so many formations that they can operate out of as well. So well, so many formations, so many fresh legs. They've got a short bench. I mean, that's mm -hmm. not a deep roster over there yeah. for Phoenix. So, those, I mean, not like you can shuttle fresh legs in and out of yeah. there. Now you're just trying to see who wants to make a play. Right. Samus sets up the screen and overthrows Walker. It wasn't well set up, so not a huge loss. Great discipline up front from the Cascade Christian defensive line. You know, I, I think maybe two or three of their rushers got sucked into that, but there was a guy standing right there, right, right in the face of Mike Walker waiting for that ball. And I, You know, whether or not Samus did that on purpose doesn't really matter because it was the right play. Right, that's a ball a lot of quarterbacks will just throw into the ground yep. on purpose. The Pirates line up to kick it away. They do just that. This is Freilich back to return. He's going to try the sideline again. Has a lane. 
Not quite the wide open spaces, but he breaks a tackle. Turns it back across the field, oh gets boy. a block. <laughs> and Christian Freilich is a highlight machine tonight. Touchdown challengers. They're just gonna give starting, him 50 yards. I was just starting to wonder when they were gonna stop kicking it to him. And yeah. And <laughs> that was kind of a low line drive of a kick too. He had all day to set that up. You just see the same thing. He fakes yep. right, fakes right for three steps, foot in the ground, sets up his blockers. Is a huge alley the other way. And when you've got a punt returner like that, you don't have to do anything complicated with your blockers right. either. You can just you can just man block it and say, hey, go out put there yourself and make on play. someone. Right, and Freilich can go out there and just play playground ball. It's a really, really fun it's spot for him yeah. to be in. 42-6, Cascade Christian up with 18 seconds left before the half. We will take one more quick break. Hopefully this will take us to the half. This is TableRockSports.net. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Cisco Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services, from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. We are back. There's the return for Phoenix on the late touchdown. Christian Freilich, just a one-man highlight machine right now. He is making guys look really, really bad. Yeah, this, uh, this game started with a great team effort blocking wise mm -hmm. from Cascade Christian and over the over the course of the last few minutes here in the second quarter their individual skill players have really started to shine through and that that was all yeah Freilich on that yep. one a great return when you have that combination of tremendous individual skill and great team execution right. the sky's the limit this team's shown it over the last two years It's going to hand it off. He picks up four, and they're just going to let it run to the half. That'll do it. 42-6. to six. Cascade Christian Challengers starting their 2019 season off with a splash against the Phoenix Pirates. It is halftime. We will be back with the second half right here on Table Rock Sports in 15 minutes. I was talking to Bill. Yeah. Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? How did they get a guy? Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home or auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 40 years. Bill's Glass in Ashland and Medford, and now Bill's Glass in Grants Pass. My Circle K is your on-the-go tailgate headquarters. Whether it's a home game or a road game, when you need a big play, call on My Circle K. From their always fresh premium brewed coffee, ice cold fountain drinks and sodas, fresh made for travel deli items. When it comes to special teams, nothing is more special than My Circle K's kickback reward program. Rewards every purchase, every time. Find them, follow them, 
throw a tailgate party with them. MyCircleK.com. It takes meticulous planning. Continuous monitoring. And forward thinking to deliver the perfect three egg omelet. U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Cisco Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. For several weeks, the Southern Oregon Sports Commission has shown you examples of good sportsmanship and bad sportsmanship. Here's why. 75% of youth athletes quit sports by the age of 13 because they're not having fun. 75% of rookie referees also quit each year. Why? Well, it's because of the way they're treated by coaches and parents. We can do better. We must do better. Know your role. Learn more at southernoregonsports.com. I'm Pat Cox with Sherm's Food Stores. The employees of Sherm's are proud to be part of your community. We have thousands of customers in our stores every day, and our checkers know a lot of them on a first name basis. They tend to enjoy what they do, and they love it, so it reflects in how they treat the customer. If you live anywhere in Southern Oregon, there's a Sherm's store near you. We hope to see you soon. If you shop with us, you will save money. I was talking to Bill. Yeah? Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? And they get a guy. Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically updates and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home or auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 40 years. Bill's Glass in Ashland and Medford, and now Bill's Glass in Grants Pass. My Circle K is your on-the-go tailgate headquarters. Whether it's a home game or a road game, when you need a big play, call on My Circle K. From their always fresh premium brewed coffee, ice cold fountain drinks and sodas, fresh made for travel deli items. When it comes to special teams, nothing is more special than My Circle K's kickback reward program. Rewards every purchase, every time. Find them, follow them, throw a tailgate party with them. MyCircleK.com It takes meticulous planning. Continuous monitoring. And forward thinking to deliver the perfect three egg omelet.
Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Cisco Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services, from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. For several weeks, the Southern Oregon Sports Commission has shown you examples of good sportsmanship and bad sportsmanship. Here's why. 75% of youth athletes quit sports by the age of 13 because they're not having fun. 75% of rookie referees also quit each year. Why? Well, it's because of the way they're treated by coaches and parents. We can do better. We must do better. Know your role. Learn more at southernoregonsports.com. I'm Pat Cox with Sherm's Food Stores. The employees of Sherm's are proud to be part of your community. We have thousands of customers in our stores every day, and our checkers know a lot of them on a first name basis. They tend to enjoy what they do, and they love it, so it reflects in how they treat the customer. If you live anywhere in Southern Oregon, there's a Sherm's store near you. We hope to see you soon. If you shop with us, you will save money. I was talking to Bill. Yeah? Bill and Sherry got a guy. They do? How did they get a guy? Everything happened online, including financing. And their guy even delivered their new car to their home. Maybe we should get a guy. I thought you might say that. Honey, meet Kyle. Find your guy during the Ram Power Days going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford and on LithiaSuperstore.com. Not a dealership, a partnership. This year, don't just replace your windows, renew them with beautiful and energy efficient windows from Bill's Glass. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically updates and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home or auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 40 years. Bill's Glass in Ashland and Medford, and now Bill's Glass in Grants Pass. At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Siskiyou Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781.
Hello, I'm Lennox Scott, Chairman and CEO of John O. Scott Real Estate. In 1931, my grandfather started John O. Scott Real Estate. I would like to take a moment to thank you for your trust in allowing us to serve your real estate needs. Helping you realize your home ownership dreams is why we do what we do. But one thing is clear, it takes place one client at a time. Each individual buyer or seller, because at the end of the day, it comes down to you. The past few years have been an incredible time of growth for us. We now have over 110 offices and more than 3,000 broker associates in the states of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California. But our higher purpose is living life as a contribution. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Cisco Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. Dear Dad, I was afraid to say this to your face, but I heard you yelling again from the stands during my game. You were shouting at the coach, the refs, even the other parents. It embarrasses me when you yell at everyone. It really stresses me out. I love sports. I love my team. I just want to play, but not if you always lose your temper. Love, Katie. Know your role. Learn more at southernoregonsports.com. There's a time machine, not so far away, that takes you back to a world just a few streets wide, where wonder rules the day and families are transformed from the smallest bug-eyed explorer to that surliest know-it-all. So dive into the past and let them see the world through a simpler lens called Southern Oregon. Their adventure begins when you travel Medford. Hello, I'm Lennox Scott, Chairman and CEO of John O. Scott Real Estate. In 1931, my grandfather started John O. Scott Real Estate. I would like to take a moment to thank you 
for your trust in allowing us to serve your real estate needs. Helping you realize your home ownership dreams is why we do what we do. But one thing is clear, it takes place one client at a time. Each individual buyer or seller, because at the end of the day, it comes down to you. The past few years have been an incredible time of growth for us. We now have over 110 offices and more than 3,000 broker associates in the states of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California. But our higher purpose is living life as a contribution. Welcome back to the 2019 football season here on TableRockSports.net. Cascade Christian up big at halftime in this opener over the Phoenix Pirates, 42 to six. I mean, there's just so, so many weapons on that Cascade Christian sideline. You you never know where the next bullet's coming from. Yeah, it's it seems like it wasn't halfway through the second quarter where we were sitting here talking about. You know, Phoenix has a chance to get some momentum here with the score. I think the score was maybe 21 to six at right. that point. Yep. And then, you know, look at it now, 42 to six just happened. Couple of lightning strikes, including big punt return from uh, from Freilich. There are 78 yards to the right. house. You know, Jukin and Jiven his whole way there. And that and was just really that soul sucking interception yeah. right there at the end of the half that just out. I mean, just that deflating sort of play Tough when break. you can, can maybe go into halftime with some momentum. And then all of a sudden you get something like that. So and now guess who gets the ball to start the second half? Challengers will start with the ball here in the second half. Nate, tell me your last name again. Good year, like the tire, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Chris Phillips also here with you for Phoenix Pirates football tonight. And another potential big return here. Can't quite turn the corner like he did before. That was Elijah Smith. This is the time if you're if you're one of those guys for Phoenix, Chris, this is about getting yourself some playing time, put something good on film for later in the year. Uh, you know, at this point, you've got a huge mountain to climb against a tough opponent. There are going to be guys getting in off the bench that are going to get some PT here that have a chance to establish themselves for later in the season. Keegan Sean, senior quarterback, collapses offense to life, hands it off. Smith looking for room. Wiggles his way for a 10-yard gain. Going to be just short of a first down, I believe. Still a very solid gain on first down. I want to run you across some of the other scores for Rogue Valley teams tonight. Crater up big at Wilsonville, 28-0 right now. So the Comets in the lead there. South Medford, 27-6 leaders over Centennial. Grants pass up over Oregon City, 27-17. And then across town at Spiegelberg, of course, the Black Tornado up 31-6 over McNary. Another first down for Cascade Christian. Valadez stepping up on that defensive line from his right defensive end position. There's sample in motion. They try the draw to Smith, and he only picks up about a yard. So they, tr they try the middle of that Pirates line. So has not had great success so far. And again, sorry about that. Again, the Pirates do a nice job stuffing that first and ten run. Yeah, it's tough to tell by looking at the scoreboard, but the interior defensive line for the Pirates has really been their strength so far, at least on the defensive side of the ball. Sean going to swing it out, and again, this is becoming a little bit of a concern, must be for that Cascade Christian coaching staff. Sean misses low again. And really, like what? 
about three quarters of the way through that second quarter, he just kind of got the yips, like you said, and yep. it's it's been a little ugly ever since. Missed four in a row on one drive. And, yeah. and, you know, the irony there is that you run those type of passes to try to get him into a rhythm, but those can be really tough passes to throw. Just those kind of quick shots, especially out of a shotgun, to try to get your hands on the ball and release it that quickly. And with a runner moving out horizontally, it's just tough to judge the distance yep. there. Sean going to keep this one over left tackle. Going to bring up fourth and four. Yeah, we'll call it five. Fourth and five, and we know they're going for it. Mike Walker on the stop. Not that you blame them with an offense like this. With this kind of explosion on offense, you're going to take every opportunity you can to get plays off. Yeah, and, you know, it's regardless of the score, it's kind of four down territory here anyway in Phoenix territory inside the 40. Keegan rolls right, going to throw that way, has a man. That sample gets pushed out right about the 20-yard line. So a 17-18-yard an eight, pickup on fourth down. They're just relentless. This challenger team is just relentless. Looks like they've got some of their backup receivers getting some burn too. So. Yeah. This is where you start getting some reps for the younger guys. You're going to need them through a tough season, long season. They're going to hand it off over left tackle. He's going to pick up four. Elijah Smith going to check back in. Mike Walker on the stop. Gain of three. Second down and seven. That was Titus Miller on the carry that time. Giving Smith a little bit of a breather. Back in the game now, however. Tries right tackle, <laughs> cuts it back to the five yard line. A 14 yard pickup. And the challenges just keep coming. Yeah, not, not just, you know, good skilled players too, but they've got some shifty backs in the backfield, shifty slot receivers, guys that can make tacklers miss. And actually the thing you mentioned earlier, which is wide receivers that can block everybody getting in on every aspect. That's such a huge part of it. And there's Smith right over right guard. And the challengers just keep piling it on. Kick is good. And with 847 left in the third quarter, Cascade Christian in complete control here at U.S. Cellular Field. 49 to 6 is the score. It will be Pirates ball when we come back right after this. Hello, I'm Lennox Scott, Chairman and CEO of John O. Scott Real Estate. In 1931, my grandfather started John O. Scott Real Estate. I would like to take a moment to thank you for your trust in allowing us to serve your real estate needs. Helping you realize your home ownership dreams is why we do what we do. But one thing is clear. It takes place one client at a time, each individual buyer or seller, because at the end of the day, it comes down to you. The past few years have been an incredible time of growth for us. We now have over 110 offices and more than 3,000 broker associates in the states of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California. But our higher purpose is living life as a contribution. Welcome back. Challengers kicking it away. And flubbed on the reception on the kickoff. 
And he manages to not make it too catastrophic. That's something, you know, you, you hate to nitpick at this point in the game, right? It's third quarter. You're down by 43 points. Right. But that has been something that they're definitely going to work on as the season progresses. Right. We've seen several bobbled kickoffs this evening. And, you know, to Nick Goff's credit, he took that one to the house, so that was big. But y you got to start by getting your hands on the ball. This always happens in the to. first game. Everybody's still getting their feet and their hands under them. They're still trying to get a feel of what it's like to go out there and actually hit somebody else for once. And, yeah, Freilich steps up from his cornerback position. Just nowhere to go for Walker. That's the other side, Chris, of – illustrating the importance of having those receivers blocking on the outside. And when you don't do it, you got a corner that's going to blow that play up in a heartbeat. And when you do, you end up like Cascade Christian, throwing those little tunnel screens, those hitch passes, and taking them to the house. You over-pursue, and then all of a sudden there's all sorts of other lanes opening up. Yep. Christian, Samus stepped in a quarterback about halfway through that second quarter, taking most of the snaps ever since. This is Walker making a man miss. And that is how you teach a safety to step up. Like that burst. Man. Yeah. Say, I will run you over. First down for the Pirates on the carry. That's not something you like to see as a safety either, is just the seas parting and a running back headed straight yeah. for you. That's that's not what you want to be doing as a safety back there. That's <laughs> what linebackers are for. To right. Keep those to keep those guys off you. Letting some running back get a get a free run at you. Right. Especially a guy like Freilich, who I would venture to say is probably more of a coverage safety than a run stopper. Here's Walker again. Puts his foot in the ground. I like the way this kid runs. More than anything, you have to have an appreciation for the effort at this stage in the game. You know, he he knows that all of this is going to be on film. Yeah, absolutely. And even though and they're not going to, yep, they're not going to want to watch this film, but the coaches are and the scouts are, and everyone else out there is going to be seeing what you're doing, and they're not going to see the scoreboard. Right. So you got to put something good out there. Six and a half left to go in the third. Hands it off up the middle. Phoenix, the power game coming to play here in the second half. Ryan Brumble this time, another senior. This was definitely their game plan out of the gate. They just got behind to a point yeah. where they kind of had to ditch it. And now, you know, what do you have to lose by just executing the plays in your right. game plan and seeing if your sophomore quarterback can run this offense? Yeah, exactly. This feels like what they wanted to be doing all along. Swing it out again. Tried to get a little hop step. Couldn't quite turn that corner. Could Cam Corey. He may have, yeah, he took a little say, bit of a hitch step there as he tried to turn the corner. Maybe a hamstring. Oh, no, he's holding his calf. Yeah, they're going to make him take a rest. Ouch. Yeah, you could see him pull up short there before, he, before the defenders even got to him, which was kind of a bummer because they seem to have something. Yeah, you well, see him reaching down in that sort of calf Achilles area, back of his calf. Let's just go with the calf. We, yeah. want the, we, we want the one that he can recover from by <laughs> next week. Ah, we like people to learn something. This isn't just entertainment. <laughs> this is education here at Table Rock Sports. Looks like his leg. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lower body injury. We're going to go the Patriots <laughs> yeah. way. And again, they try the dive. Not going this time for Brumble. Bryce and Kenneth on the stop for the Challengers. Brumble on the carry. Third and 12 for the Pirates.
remember, Southern Oregon is a hotbed for local sports at the youth, high school, college, and even Olympic levels. You can stay in touch with all of the sports in Southern Oregon at southernoregonsports.com. And stacked up after a gain of a couple. And since we are here at U.S. Cellular Field, I want to remind you, U.S. Cellular, one of our sponsors as well, they are celebrating 30 years of providing wireless service in Medford by throwing a free concert featuring Grammy Award-winning artist Macklemore. If you want tickets, U.S. Cellular will be distributing 3,500 tickets on Saturday, September 14th at seven participating U.S. Cellular stores starting at 10 a.m. You can head on over to uscellularcelebrates.com for store locations and details. Tickets are first come, first serve while they last, and you can only get two tickets per person. A punt from Samus going to land at the 25. So that is where Cascade Christian will take over. I want to say thank you to our new sponsors, the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. They have been providing professional, personal, and compassionate care to their patients here in Medford Grants Pass and in Klamath Falls. They provide a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much, much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, please call 541-779-378. Eight one. Handoff up the middle. Fifteen yards for Elijah Smith as he just keeps adding to his total on the night. Just a solid runner is Smith. Knows how to finish on his face every time. Runs with a good lean. Has his pads out in front of his toes. Just Great balance. I say uh, balance, he, and could do a little bit of everything. He yeah. can put a shoulder down if he needs to, but he, you've also seen the elusive feet he has. He can really make guys miss. Sean, nice job to knife in off the edge. Stop the ball carrier for only a couple yards. And, of course, this is our Lithia Superstore game of the week. Thank you so much for watching live high school sports coverage here on TableRockSports.net, it is made possible by all of our outstanding sponsors, including our title sponsor, the Lithia Superstore on Crater Lake Highway. You can browse online at LithiaSuperstore.com, then come in and work it out with the outstanding staff. Say hi and thank Jason Lorch, general manager down there at Lithia. Got to call his son Caleb over at Crater. He was a catcher a couple years ago. Very good little player. Lithia Superstore is... Our a title sponsor here on TableRockSports.net. Two and a half left in the third. Again, trying the middle. Valadez, again, the difference maker from his right defensive end position. And that will force a fourth down. We've seen a few of these. We've also seen Cascade Christian convert more than their fair share. And Sean going to come in in that deep sort of shotgun position. We could know, just I, I, as easily fake it as kick it from here. I feel like they might actually kick this one right at this, at this field point. position at this point in the game. But, hey, what the heck, you know. Good call. Does indeed kick it away. Makes the first couple guys miss. Has an alley. That was Goff back in the game for the first time. And you see the explosion. All the way down to midfield. He, he limped off about 10 minutes ago, grabbing that calf area. Oh, no, that was Corey. Goff went out in the uh, – came up limping in the second quarter. Yeah, and he's, he's kind of limping off the field now. Again, I mean, he, yeah, you know, he's on You commend him for wanting to be out there. 
And you can see if they're just able to get some disciplined blocking in front of him, the type of plays he's able to make. It's Even if they just use him as a punt returner, yep. you use somebody else for the heavy duty, the ball carrying, just bring him in for those explosion plays. And you know with a guy like that, then you start getting creative. You open up the playbook as the mm -hmm. season goes on. You find ways to get him the ball in space, whether it's out on the edge as a receiver, whatever it might be. But if you have a guy that can run like that, mm -hmm. you've got to get the ball in his hands. Sam is going to roll, escapes the pressure, just going to tuck it and go out of bounds. Nothing downfield, excellent coverage, right decision to just take it out of bounds. And Elijah Smith stays down for quite a while again. <laughs> it takes a decent little shot from his own teammate coming off the field. Friendly fire there. Looks like we're going to get a timeout on the field. Timeout Pirates will go ahead and take this one with them. 49-6, your score here at U.S. Cellular Field back right after this. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Cisco Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services, from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. Second and 11, Dungey back in for Phoenix. Can't complete the pass. He was open in the flat. Throwing situation, we got Dungy back in the game. Maybe try to take a shot downfield here. High snap, Dungy controls it, avoids the rush, gets it downfield, complete. Oh, they're gonna say momentum stopped. That was a quick whistle. Tough what catch. a great play from Dungy to escape the pressure and find the open receiver over the middle. Just short of the first down. That's because it was a quick whistle. Yeah, yeah they're talking I mean, the about whistle, it. The whistle came so quickly as I was watching it from up here that you almost thought for a second that he that it was Dropped an incomplete it. pass. I, that's exactly what I thought. I thought it was incomplete because the whistle came so fast. So they're going to talk about it. They're going to talk with Phoenix's coach. I would imagine he's not very happy yeah. about it either. Oh, they're going to. No, it will be fourth down. So fourth and a solid one. Dungy rolling, running, has it inside the 40. <laughs> so that's a first down. So I like this for Phoenix. Just run your stuff at this point. Yeah, you got to find out who can yeah. who can run the plays that you're going to run when you're in control of things. Uh, you know, so we get deeper into this season, you're not going to be in these situations. Yeah, hopefully not. Yeah, and, you know, and and you. Well, can you're see not. I mean, you know how good this Cascade yeah. Christian team is. And they definitely have a plan, and they've built their team around it. You know, they've yeah. got some beef on both sides of the line, and they've got a couple of skill players that can make guys miss. 
So do the best you can with that. Yep. Run the ball, stop the run, make it happen that way. Yeah. That'll do it. We are done with three quarters here at U.S. Cellular Field. Cascade Christian up big over the Phoenix Pirates. But we like what they're doing right now. So we'll see if Phoenix can keep this good momentum going right now. We will be back right after this. Hello, I'm Lennox Scott, Chairman and CEO of John O. Scott Real Estate. In 1931, my grandfather started John O. Scott Real Estate. I would like to take a moment to thank you for your trust in allowing us to serve your real estate needs. Helping you realize your home ownership dreams is why we do what we do. But one thing is clear, it takes place one client at a time. Each individual buyer or seller, because at the end of the day, it comes down to you. The past few years have been an incredible time of growth for us. We now have over 110 offices and more than 3,000 broker associates in the states of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California. But our higher purpose is living life as a contribution. Welcome back. Let me get that scoreboard switched over to the fourth quarter. There it is. Dungey going to roll and just get rid of it before getting planted. Dungey back to pass and complete. Pressure by Craig Sample on the tray for the challenger. Looks like Craig Sample. Second and ten. I do like the plan in the passing game in terms of moving the pocket around. Uh, you know, just to, uh, aside, aside from the, you know, obvious of trying to keep the defense off guard, uh, teaching pass blocking is one of the toughest things. Uh, you know, that's oh, yeah. it's, really har it's really hard to pick up. And they don't have a lot of extra pass protection just a, as a base part of their offense when they decide to throw the ball. So make it easy on those big guys up front. Right. And just mo move them around a little bit. Just saw Keith Reed, the freshman backup quarterback for Cascade Christian, warming up. Wonder if they're going to try and get him in the game a little bit here. Dungy, nice evasiveness again at multiple levels, both in the pocket and down the field. Dungey again goes down under a pile of black and purple shirts. He might be hurting a little bit tomorrow morning. That's gonna be one. That's gonna be. He's one not of those the only one. Yeah, he's gonna be. Ex it's gonna be one of those mornings where uh, he's too sore to sleep. I have a feeling, but that's the game you play. When yeah. You strap on the shoulder yep. pads. He's built for it. I mean, that's a, you know, that's a. And none of this is right. None of this is of particularly vicious. This is just constant. Yep. Yeah, just a lot of guys landing on top just of you a lot of times. But you know, no judgment. <laughs> yeah. Trips to the top. Dungy looks that way, goes that way, tried to find Samus. And from the slot, and that will turn it over on downs. Well, Samus is obviously a kid that they see as a big part of their future, able to move him around, you know, and, and plus he's your punter also. Right. Um, that's 
definitely a move for the future, and they're just trying to see right now what all he can do to help right. them out there this year. Yeah, Keegan Sean not in this game. This is actually 23, Matt McFeeters taking the snap this time. So big lead, Keegan Sean, big, big, big part of what you're expecting to do this season. Go ahead, take a seat, young man. Played yourself a heck of a game. Got a long season ahead of you. Yeah, I think he's, he gets to start thinking about whatever they're doing tonight after the game. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the party? Yep, it's that time. You're making plans now. Yep, here's McFeeters. Bobbles the snap, just going to fall on it. Right call. Fumble on the play, recovered by McFeeters for Jasper Christian. I'm sure he was hoping for a little better debut as, <laughs> as a quarterback. Wide receiver screen for a loss, which wasn't right. his fault. <laughs> and, then a, and then a bobbled snap. Feeder's a junior, 6'1 junior. Yeah, they're going to get Phoenix offsides. Yeah, so no surprise here. Smith, Sample, Fralick, Sean all standing on the sideline. Downfield, just missed the intended receiver. Pretty nice not mechanics on the run there, though, throwing uh, throwing against his momentum. That's exactly what it was, but not a bad throw in the scheme of things, yeah. Looks like and we have a Pirate down at the 30-yard line. We're going to let them check him out. I never like to stay on injuries, so we'll go ahead and take a quick break. Let you know the player, and what's going on as soon as we're back. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Cisco Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services, from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call power so I think he's gonna be okay two bouncer yeah we gotta get that ah, no there was definitely a block in the back there but nobody saw it and golf <laughs> is taking advantage down the sideline makes him miss both touchdowns <laughs> have been on kick returns from golf Phoenix on the board again put it all into that one too he's yeah. coming up holding his hamstring on his left side but that's hey. why he's only been in there for kick returns here in the second at least since about halfway through the second quarter well I'll, t I'll tell you this if phoenix goes every game getting two special teams touchdowns they're gonna win a game this yeah. year yeah <laughs> they might even win yeah. a couple games this year you know so that's i mean There's that's players a great here. building yeah. block absolutely there are players here for sure this is a just an incredibly tough opponent to open the year with 
and B, just a growing program. Kick is up. Kick is good. 49 13. Phoenix Pirates down, but some things to, to, to hope for. Hello, I'm Lennox Scott, Chairman and CEO of John O. Scott Real Estate. In 1931, my grandfather started John O. Scott Real Estate. I would like to take a moment to thank you for your trust in allowing us to serve your real estate needs. Helping you realize your home ownership dreams is why we do what we do. But one thing is clear, it takes place one client at a time. Each individual buyer or seller. Because at the end of the day, it comes down to you. The past few years have been an incredible time of growth for us. We now have over 110 offices and more than 3,000 broker associates in the states of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California. But our higher purpose is living life as a contribution. Welcome back. 808 left in this ball game. Rogue Valley Manor lit up on the top of the hill right there across the way. Beautiful, beautiful multi-sport, multi-field facility here at U.S. Cellular Fields. Home fields for both these Cascade Christian Challengers as well as the St. Mary's Crusaders. I'll be taking over their calls come week three when they're finally back at home here at U.S. Cellular. Line drive, fielded at the 20. Again has an alley and finally trips over a couple of his own players. You could hear the disappointment from the crowd yeah. and the sideline. They thought there was another big one on the way. <laughs> Just feel the deflation. Big aspirations this year for Cascade Christian. Yeah, you see, that's why they're resting there. Yeah. Two, two years in a row, top half dozen. finished in the top 25, start this year, ranked number 22 in the state, number and two in their division. Right, and that's I, that's a joke to me. I mean, that's they should be significantly higher than yeah, that. Yeah, you think they should be in a, uh, in they a lost higher division. They lost not much. Yeah, I mean, they lost not much off that team last year. The Peter pass complete to Ethan Frankbacher. Probably no relation to uh, Jim Kleinsasser, the <laughs> former Vikings <laughs> fullback. I had that thought, too. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, you never know. It's one of those weird names, so. There can only not be like a so common many of name, them, right? <laughs> Probably common amongst the Vikings. Or <laughs> yeah, in, the, in Minnesota. Sure. Nordic folk. Minnesota. Play fake. Just a step in front of his intended receiver. Third and five. And there's just so much space on that draw. Phoenix finally starting to bail on the bail, you know, lose that middle contain. And Smith is just just a beast. Yeah, I would suppose at this point, I you know, I can give guys a little bit of a break for losing discipline. Oh, oh absolutely. You know, no, uh, yeah. Long, long since decided. Sure. But it says something that it stayed, you know, intact for so long. Right. And around the side, McFeedle. Making <laughs> guys miss. Still going. Running over a man right there at the end. So McFeeder. Yards. 
Told us there's not a lot of drop off. <laughs> Got a couple of the starters down there on the sideline just teasing Keegan Sean. You sure they're sure your job's safe? <laughs> And keep her right up the middle. Eh, a little over the right side. Oh, that was Smith. Looked like he might have got off a little early there, but mm. at this point, that may be the last thing on anyone's mind. Right. And as we pass the halfway mark here in the fourth quarter, let me get another quick rundown. North Medford still up big at Spiegelberg, 45-6. South Medford, 40, Centennial, 13. And Crater still up 30 to nothing over Wilsonville. Grants pass, the only one really in a game, 33-25 with Oregon City. Can't quite turn it upfield enough to get it in the end zone. So it will be fourth and goal. Looks like the field goal unit's coming on right here too. Go ahead and play it safe here. Field goal is up and good. 52 to 13. Now your score, Cascade Christian, starting out their season nice and strong. We'll have the final five minutes, 20 seconds when we come back. Finally, the Crusaders, sorry, Challengers, huh. bundle them up. But special teams has been a nice little, you know. You call the return game a plus? Yeah. I think if there was a plus grade to be handed out this evening, it would go to the return to the Yeah, return absolutely. The special teams have, been, have had some moments.
floor wide for Phoenix. Looks like they're going to put it up. Nope, they're going to roll Dungy out. He's going to escape and escape. Two more, escape again. Just trying to make something happen against a smothering defense. I mean, isn't that play right there just put the night in a nutshell for the Phoenix offense? Just a whole lot of work for uh, not a lot of reward there. But to their credit, they right. do keep on working. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely no shame in their performance tonight. They have fought every inch of this game out. They are just outmatched by an excellent, excellent Cascade Christian team. <laughs> Dungy's been coming in off the sideline a little bit slower and slower <laughs> every, ti every time now. I They're getting Maggie's beat up. starting to feel it. Again, that's the thing with ki having kind of a short bench, a small roster. Unfortunately, there yeah. aren't a lot. It's not like you can rotate someone else in there. You're getting all the snaps. Yeah. Nice pitch. But the pursuit comes so quickly. Michael Coy on the stop. Swings it out again. Ah, Phoenix not going to go quietly like like the fight in this Pirates team. Yeah, they're certainly not trying to run the clock out right mm. now. I mean, it's not like they're taking shots downfield, but. Again, I think we're back to this is they w they just want to run their own stuff efficiently right now. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're going to get a timeout. Timeout, Phoenix. Take it with them. Back right after this on TableRockSports.net. Hello, I'm Lennox Scott, Chairman and CEO of John O. Scott Real Estate. In 1931, my grandfather started John O. Scott Real Estate. I would like to take a moment to thank you for your trust in allowing us to serve your real estate needs. Helping you realize your home ownership dreams is why we do what we do. But one thing is clear, it takes place one client at a time, each individual buyer or seller, because at the end of the day, it comes down to you. The past few years have been an incredible time of growth for us. We now have over 110 offices and more than 3,000 broker associates in the states of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California. But our higher purpose is living life as a contribution. Phoenix is going to kick it away. Fair catch called for. Yeah. <laughs> that was probably ordered from the sideline before they even came out. I think I got a sigh of relief from both sidelines. <laughs> from Cascade Christian because he's not going to get hurt. And from Phoenix because they don't have to face a Freilich return. Take a second, give you one last quick rundown. Some of the other games. North Medford still up big, 45-6 over McNary. South Medford 40, Centennial 13, Crater 33, Wilsonville nothing. The game of the night here on Table Rock Sports as that pass is incomplete, swung out to the right. Game of the night for sure, Grant's pass at Oregon City. They are tied up at 33 in the fourth quarter. So uh, no hurt feelings. You want to go ahead and turn the dial, you, you, you go right ahead. Check out that Grants Pass Oregon City game. 
live on our new YouTube premium channel. As we stream everything we do free to all of you out there here on TableRockSports.net. A little bit of a miscommunication at the mesh point. They really both, they're quarterback, and they've done it throughout the game. They really keep that ball in their back belly mm -hmm. for a long, long, long time. And that's, that's an awesome really the only way you can pull off an offense like that is just to practice it over yeah. and over and over again because that's really difficult for a running back to deal with and get used to. I mean, I, it, to have to look up and see what kind of holes in front of you without right. even knowing whether or not you're going to get the ball. And now it actually is the freshman, Reed, taking some snaps for Cascade Christian. And a bad snap there, not his fault. Terrible snap. So getting the freshmen some reps here. Sean Brennan on the stop for the Pirates. Loss of two yards. And rotating in the backup offensive line. We're gonna see oh, the nope, here's Sean. Here. No, this, I believe actually I said it exactly backwards. They're bringing the starters <laughs> back out to finish this one out. Yep, Smith, Fralick, Sean, all coming back out on fourth down. And they're going to fake it. Nope, they're going to roll and kick. Great kick from Sean. And I believe that's a live ball. And a – no. I thought it touched a Phoenix player, but they're going to say it did, it did not. Just a dead – oh, can no, they not it advance did. it? You just can't advance it. Okay. So they will say it's Cascade Christian ball. Man, I know he wants to make a play, but that's that's. I can't I can't fault the kid for wanting to get no. the ball in his hands and make a play. No, but, you know you gotta. That's exactly why you run that roll right punt, and roll your punter out like that. Throws everyone off. Yep. And it changes <laughs> all the angles. Yep. Changes everything. Although, you know, maybe not the most uh, yeah. sportsmanlike call there from yeah. Cascade Christian. It's still, but it's still yeah. a punt. I mean, you know, yeah, it's, and it's all a the punt. starters back out again. Maybe they're going to punt it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to take a knee. Victory formation. Okay, they're going to kneel it. Yeah. Okay. Challenger is going to kneel this one out. They will take home the 52. 13 opening week victory over the Phoenix Pirates. Going to take a quick break. We'll be back with a little bit of a recap. Oh, they are stop it. Never mind. Oh, they just stop it every time. I got ahead of myself. Sorry. There was, I think, a minute eight before that. Oh, uh, yeah. So I just got ahead of my. I got ahead so, of myself. I'm so excited <laughs> to do the post. I haven't game. done a game in almost six months. I'm rusty. <laughs> Sean O'Neill again. And now they'll walk it off the field and call this one in the books. There you see a close-up. Keegan Sean had a fantastic game. You can absolutely see why these Challenger fans and players and coaches are pinning a lot of hopes on this kid. And he has every opportunity to fulfill all of those, as does the rest of this team. Now, four, three, two. Officially all zeros on the clock. This is your final 52, 13. Cascade Christian Challengers with the opening week victory. Now we will take a quick break and be back with some final thoughts right after this. Let's go. At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. That's the best value in wireless. That work for you? U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. For the best deals in wireless on a network that works in the middle of anywhere, visit Cisco Cellular, your local U.S. Cellular agent. Seven locations, including Central Point off Plaza Boulevard. Doctors James Savage and Rajiv Rajakapal are happy to welcome Dr. Brian Clevenger to the Associates for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. 
Their offices in Medford, Grants Pass, and Klamath Falls practice a full scope of services from corrective jaw surgery to wisdom teeth removal and much more. For more information or to schedule your complimentary dental implant consultation, call 541-779-3781. Welcome back. There you see your final Cascade Christian Challengers 52 Phoenix Pirates 13 to kick off this 2019 football season here in the Rogue Valley. Cascade Christian showed you why they have been to two straight state championship games and have every expectation of going back again this year. And Phoenix, on the other hand, showed you why they're a building program. They stuck with what brought them here. They really did a nice job building on what they do. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough go for them, and I don't know that it's totally fair to say that the final score reflected the effort that Phoenix put forth. Um, I will say that it probably reflects the gap between these two teams at this point in the season. You know, you got a well-polished machine on the Cascade Christian side. Like you said, they're looking to go back to the state title game for the third year in a row, and they're looking to win it. Um, on the Phoenix side, they're going to have to wait another week before they get their first win since 2017. <laughs> and, again, the effort they put in was great. You Absolutely. can see some pieces there. You know, they're going to want to control the clock this year and minimize the amount of possessions in the game overall. Keep that scoreboard down. Whether it's on both sides, just keep the score close. They've got a big offensive line, a big defensive line, and a couple of skilled backs. And I think that that's something that's going to pay off for them at some point this season. Uh, you know, and if there's something fortunate about it, maybe a little good juju going into next week. They're going to be taking on Newport at home at Phoenix High School. And Newport just happens to be the last team that they scored a victory against right. in the playoffs two years ago. And that was a big victory, 60-13. to 13. So hopefully, you know, that's something going into next week. Right, and I do want to take a second. Want to make sure and call out Goff. A couple of big, big returns. You could, again, he's going to be dangerous in the return game. Hopefully, he's healthy. We mm -hmm. saw him come off limping a couple times, so hopefully, everything's okay with him. But definitely, definitely, some pieces to build around. If you're the Phoenix Pirates, moving forward again, right as we sign off here, just want to let you know: 33, 33 cavemen at Oregon City Grants Pass driving so absolutely feel free flip it over check out the end of that game that's it for us thank you so much Chris Phillips Nate Goodyear signing off we'll see you next time we're out that's it bam